Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead Good Plus series and today we're going to be doing something a little different. I am not going to randomize a character, instead I'm going to select a character and I'm going to play greedier mode. Because there is an unlock that I really want, the red rune from the Repentance Plus mod is unlocked by defeating Ultra Greed as this fella and I, I want it unlocked because they are really cool and you can find them inside of the um, tinted spiked rocks. And also, I got a few mods that improve this mode quite a lot. I'll go through the list right now. So, first of all, we have my mod, Rebalanced Greedier Mode Waves. This makes the first two floors significantly easier and removes all of the bullshit enemies and most of the other bullshit bosses. And it also changes some of the waves later on. I also added Alt Path in Greedier Mode, uh, Planetariums in Greed Mode, and the Cathedral in Greed Mode, as well as also pick up coins in Greed Mode. So, we should have a much more pleasant experience than you would normally, and because we don't know what that is, it was raw liver, would have loved to have taken that. Um, hmm. This one I will take. This one I, I, I'm just going to straight up take. Yes! Worth it. Very worth it. But yeah, so, we've got new room types, rebalanced ways and stuff. Basically, um, for those of you that haven't seen my series since we last played Greed, because to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of Greed, I made a mod that rebalances all of the Greed mode waves and mainly fixes the first two floors, meaning that you shouldn't really ever have a, cha have a time on the first two floors where there's like three waves of enemies on the screen at once. They might sometimes be two, but most of the time, you should be able to kill the first wave before the next one spawns. It shouldn't ever be a case that there's a ton of enemies on screen all stacked up. Because in Greedier especially, the um, there's champions and it happens and it's bullshit. The first floors are normally where most of your deaths and restarts come from in Greed mode. So I, uh, I spent a lot of time, and I mean a lot, rebalancing 2,400 waves of Greed mode to realign it and make the first floors much more enjoyable and the later floors better as well. So yeah, um, much better in my opinion. But yeah, I've also got the auto pickup coins. For one, it saves me some time and also it prevents us using the D20 or Yera to just cheese the game, which I know some people like that, but I'm not a huge fan of cheesing. So, um, and it's, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, even though I don't like cheesing, if the opportunity presents itself, I'm always going to do it. So I just don't like having the ability to do so because I know for a fact I'll abuse the hell out of it, and I don't want to abuse the hell out of it. But anyways, as for the question of the day today, as for the question of the day today, what is, um, this is a really good one that someone left in the comments. Um, if you were to be a villain, what would be your secret motivation for being a villain? I really like the idea behind that. I think that's a really interesting one, because it's basically like, it's kind of like, what's your, like, big pet peeve sort of thing? What's something that you just... Do you know what? We'll buy a key, but I'm not buying anything else. Um, it's just not worth it. Um, yeah, like, what's your big pet peeve? What's something that just is so annoying to you that you would want to be a super villain? <laughs> I don't know what mine is. I think in people interrupting me is, is a big one. I mean, I do it fairly often myself because I talk a lot, which is something I hate about myself. Um, because, it, like, I realize I'm doing it, and then I'm like, no, no, no. Yeah, that, that's that's probably, probably a big one. Um... I don't know, what's, what's another one as well? Uh, we'll skip Devil Deal, we'll try and get Angel Deal next floor. Um, and yeah, I, I'm trying to think of some other some other really interesting motivations as well. Because um, I bet there's a there's got to be a few rattling around in my head. People that chew open-mouthed and loudly. <laughs> it's like, why are you taking over the world, sir? Well, you see, uh, I will take random on that. I'm glad I did that. And... I will also take that as well. Um, I don't want to take too many flies here. And... This isn't amazing. We can go into our cash room because we have a spare heart there. And we got pills. I'll take all of them and hope for the best. So good. So far, so good. Eee, that was perfect. That was perfect. Okay. I think I want to reroll here. Also, by the way, are we on downpour? We are on Dross. Interesting. So this is new. This is new. I like it. Right. Deep pockets? Wait. 
How does Deep Pockets even work in this situation? I, I'm gonna guess it doesn't, right? This is a lot of money spending on a reroll. I think that's worth it. We can't afford it now for some reason because I'm stupid. Uh, but I think I think jetpack is pretty good. Uh, being, being able to have flight. I know that obviously there's not a lot of reasons to have flight, but there's pits on this room and stuff. It'd give us a little more space to maneuver. But yeah, so these waves on this uh, this floor, on the downpour and like the new floors that are added by other mods, aren't affected by my rebalance greedy mode waves. So it really depends on how the developer decided to balance these waves but i imagine they're pretty well balanced because no one's gonna make really hard greedy mode waves because everyone knows how much of an ass the vanilla ones are um but yeah i, I like i don't need i don't like i don't like playing greedy mode too much but i do need to play it with the uh, tainted characters to unlock a lot of different things on repentance plus so we're gonna do a few of them every now and again it's not gonna be something that i do all the time but I will squeeze them in here and there, and I, I hope you guys are okay with that. I know some people really like watching Greedy Mode, but for me personally, I, I think the mode is fun every now and again, but I personally don't think it's the funnest mode to watch, which is one of the reasons I don't play it so much, but people have differing opinions. You guys can let me know what you think, because uh, we can do these a little more regularly if people like them, or a little less regularly, but we need to get the, t uh, the completion marks anyways, so I thought it's about time. We're like, what, we're like... 40 episodes into the series at this point um we kind of are due to do some greedy mode at some point especially with it being reasonably well rebalanced i say reasonably well i'm i'm just patting myself on the back here it depends what other people think but i i personally think it's rebalanced to be a much more enjoyable mode obviously there's not much you can do about the boss being crazy but it is what it is right um Let's try and get our angel dealer here. I want to go for the jetpack. For one, the speed up is pretty nice. But also, I think just having... Also, by the way, if we can afford golden flakes, we definitely should take it. I don't know if we'll be able to. Also, not only did we get Colostomir as our boss, which is new to greed mode, but we got champion Colostomir, which is just new to the game in general. This is cool. Hey, him... Clostomir doesn't know what to do when there's pits in his room. <laughs> and this is the Clostomir that can only charge as well. Ooh, I don't like the idea of having Clostomir plus other enemies. And these guys can dive over pits as well. Okay, we actually... I didn't even think about that. His, his creep doesn't do anything to us here. Now, I do wonder how well some of these enemies work in these rooms. Especially with them being champions. The champions were never designed for this. Never designed with this in mind, so I am interested to see how they kind of come along. See, it seems like it's going um, like pretty well so far, to be honest. Okay, there you go. He's done and dead, and we do indeed get golden flakes, which is good because, for one, it could give us a golden trinket, but for two, lots of golden hearts means lots of money, and there you go, a golden penny. This could pay out big. I'm going to say that it probably won't. If it gets me to 15 cent, I'll be happy, but... I, I don't know. I feel like I always get screwed over by these things. I'm going to take that, by the way. Um, just because it's a cheap key. Yeah, there you go. Didn't quite make it. Would have taken it to 13. Destroy some of these poops here. Could get an extra penny or two. But yeah, having having these new floors brings a little more, uh, little more intrigue. A little more interest to these floors. I like it. Hey, and we got two full hearts there. A little, sh little bit of a shame we didn't have those hearts prior. Because if we did have those hearts prior, we could have gotten ourselves a nice little um, nice little bit of extra money from our golden hearts. I am feeling the uh, the FPS drop within this room here. I think that um, the dross effects are having a hard time. I I'm, I'm hoping that at some point someone makes a, um, a, like, a reduced effects mod for repentance just because there was a few of those for um ab plus that just reduced some of the lag um and although they do kind of diminish the game's effects a little bit by obviously taking away some of the cool effects it would be nice to have just to make the lag a little more bearable in certain situations especially on the alt path floors but we get our angel deal and we get dead dove we already have flight so i think that we abyss it and just take what it is it's a little bit of a shame to abyss something um in an angel deal but really all we'd be getting is spectral and i really don't think spectral is all that good for us also 
another luck upgrade here, which I don't think really matters at the moment. That's a lot of keys. This is very nice. This is very, very nice. Ooh, uh, we got the mines as well. By the way, it's just a random chance to get the alt path. In fact, let me actually check. If we go over to here and we check out alt path greedy mode, play on alt path only is set to off. So it's not like we get that as a guaranteed chance. We have good luck, so I will take this. I believe this is luck based. It didn't actually say on the description that it is. Um, hmm... Wailing Leech is kind of interesting. I'm going to take the random one, though. Midnight Snack. It's kind of interesting that we're getting um, the alt path choices. That's intriguing. That's very intriguing to me. Okay. This is good. Um... Yeah, this is quite intriguing indeed. We are getting a lot of good loot here. The person that made the uh, alt path definitely made the alt path more rewarding. Which is a good thing, definitely. Damn it, we're really not getting great items here. I'm going to keep re-rolling, try and get something good. Um... Hive mind? I think Hive Mind works for us, so I'll keep that in the running. Also, let's pop this, maybe. Didn't really work out for us, to be honest. Okay, where's the best place to use our Soul of Cain here? Do we even have red rooms available? This is the best place to use it. It literally didn't work. Okay. Um. What? <laughs> Apparently you just can't open red rooms in greed mode, which is kind of what I thought, which is why I was surprised to see that. Uh, that might just be an error on the person that made the uh, alt path mod, not knowing that. That's fine, it's whatever. But yeah, do, do we have a higher chance for um, first razor blades? I don't actually know. But this is a really, I'm actually having a lot of fun with this being, uh, having the alt path in it. Then we get to choose between the show and cathedral later on as well. It's just a much better and, and different, more varied experience. Because I think that's probably my biggest problem with Greed Mode. I think the mechanics of Greed Mode are pretty fun. But the two biggest issues are, one, it's too easy to be very, very overpowered. It's like there's, there's a lot of avenues to be insanely strong. But then the other issue, really, is that um, there's just it's, it's too samey. There's not enough waves available to you. Uh, there's not enough difference in the waves available to you. And there's not enough choices in the paths that you take. So now with these additional choices and additional randomizations of where we might be going, the runs might feel a bit different and I might be a little more open to playing this a little more often. I mean, the lag isn't great, but... Well, one second, guys. Okay, carry on, carry on. Okay, what were we gonna buy? Hive mind. Does, does this work for us? It does, nice. Spawn four to six soul hearts on pickup. That seems pretty good. Okay, so we definitely want to be trying. Ooh, we definitely want to be trying to uh, make more locusts whenever possible here. Aha, <laughs> this is cool. I'm not a huge fan of this boss, but getting to fight it in greed mode is a bit different. Oh, there's horn fell in here too. I didn't even consider why there was tracks on the floor. Makes a lot more sense now. Horn fills. This is a. This is wacky. This is wacky. Also, you're stuck. Oh, he he blew him up for me. <laughs> I'm loving this. This is so cool. This is so cool. Having horn fell like basically battling the other boss for us. This is, uh, I'm, I'm actually having a lot of fun. This is something quite unique. And just having a Hornfell fight in a large room is quite unique as well, actually, isn't it? Not something you'd regularly see. And we still have these red bombs we can use as well, if we want to. Of course, I blew up the one that's full of troll bombs. Good on you. Damn, he's brimstoning. This is tricky. I'm having a hard time killing him here, but I like it. I like it. This is really interesting. If you could calm down, sir. 
Like, all the other enemies he's spawning as well. Dude, that fire was the most calculated shit I've ever seen. <laughs> He'll drop bombs if we manage to kill him, right? Damn it, we missed him. This is... I, I don't know, I love this. I think this is a lot of fun. That was really cool. The D12. Now, the D12 is kind of interesting. I don't know why I picked it up. I probably should have just deleted it. But I suppose there is opportunity for it. Now, I think we got a lot of money there. I think we want to do some rerolling. I could just take the red lockbox to get a bunch of HP. But I'm also feeling some rerolls to get some better items. Mother's Spine. Is that really worth anything to us? Not really. Let's try and go for another reroll. Okay. The D6. Okay. The D6 is definitely worth buying. Although, I should have taken the Ram Skull. That would have been good. But now we can get rid of that and turn you into another Fly Force. Another Locust. I'm going to keep calling them Flies. They are Locusts though. Ooh. And these guys look really, really cool with their alt versions. One thing I haven't seen is any Eternal enemies. I don't know if Eternal enemies spawn within uh, Greedy mode. I don't know if that's supported. Circle Protection is more than good enough. I'll definitely take that. We don't have a bomb to uh, to take you out, unfortunately, because we could re-roll that. That would, would have been quite nice, actually. Um, oh, there you go. <laughs> right on cue. Yes, they can spawn. Drop all of your hearts and pickups on the floor. I don't think that's really that useful to us, is it? I will take that, because we need more keys. I mean, actually, do we? I don't know. But it looks to be that we were locked into the alt path there. The stars align. We got a planetarium. On a zero... What would be a 1% chance? It, it, it costs money. Are you kidding me? Okay, okay, okay. I've got to, I can do this, I can do this. Yes! <laughs> I thought I was screwed then. I got it, though. Awesome to have planetariums available to us. I'm going to reroll Night Light. Yes! Glass Crown is very good for stats. I'll take this as well, because why not? But yeah, getting a planetarium. This is just all sorts of interesting fun. Straw Man is kind of interesting here. Book of Despair is also interesting, too. But yeah, right now we have um, the Glass Crown, which of course only lasts for three hits, but it is significantly better. But yeah, we should see a lot less BS enemies. There's one hit already. Our stats go do go down incrementally here. I think I, I guess I think I broke that mask there. Is the, um, the Scarred Womb normally a thing in Greed Mode? I can't remember now. It's been a while since I played Greed Mode. But yeah, having having the ability to freeze enemies here is really, really nice. Got a Soul Heart there as well. We're all out. Finally, we're all out. This, this is one thing that I did in the Womb Floors, by the way. Basically, any time there was bullshit enemies like Hursts that you couldn't shoot, which now is not a problem because I have the uh, the Piercing mod, but I replaced them with, um, with the, the, the Face Mask Hearts. Um, no, 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 I don't think so. Um, okay, 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 okay. Why does Strawman give you plus one bomb? I don't really think it's worth buying Strawman, I'll be honest. I, I, do you know what? I'm going to take that. And I'm very glad I did. Very glad I did indeed. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, we got a little bit more money coming our way. There you go. I'm pretty happy. Um, I think I'm going to go with Sailor's Hat, you know. Oh, here's some Eternal Boys. Here's some Eternal Boys. Let's let's get rid of the small guys first. Ooh, we do have a pit here. This is why flight is important. God damn. Circle of Protection, you are saving my ass right now. I, do you know, I'm having the most fun I've had in greed mode in such a long time. These mods are making a lot of difference. 
They're really making the experience far, far more enjoyable. I didn't expect it. I really didn't. It's done a good job. Right, I think I'm going to take the Sailor's Hat. I know Creep isn't exactly insane, but having plus speed is really nice for the flight. But being able to spawn a bit of Creep for certain enemies is kind of nice. Okay, I'm getting hit a lot here. Do you remember as well, Greed Mode is made a little more difficult by the fact that we have bosses having extra boss armor too. So certain late game bosses are going to be tweaked. I don't, I don't actually know if um, the the armor mod affects um, ten, uh, uh, Ultra Greed positively or negatively. I have no idea if it changes his values at all. It'd be nice if it lowered his armor a little bit because his armor is insane. I very highly doubt it increases it because that would just be unfair. But this guy's definitely a bit more tanky. He's one that you immediately notice. I love it though. I don't know what people think, but I really like the the boss armor mod. I think with the I, I halved basically all the values in the original mod because they were a bit too aggressive. But now it just makes it feel like they're real bosses late game rather than like oh I have so much power that I'm just gonna end their life instantly. Right, one moment, guys. Just to pause real quick. Okay, we're good to go. Um, not much else we can do on this floor. We we can check the devil deal just while we're here. I will do a reroll and see if we get anything. Unfortunately, no, we could take Blood Earth, but eh. Yeah, they're, they're not really my jam, I'll be honest. Here we go, look, and now we have a choice. So normally you'd go down to Sheol, but we're going to take the path up to Cathedral instead for another new floor. I think that's awesome. I think that's absolutely awesome. And not only that but it got replaced by corpse that's so cool <laughs> that's so cool i think that's a really really big improvement to greedy mode lead pencil hell yes although this is a toughie because we could take lead pencil or we could take the refl i'm gonna take the reflected item and hope for the best here take one Boy. <laughs> um, what happens if you take two polys? I feel like I have to try. Nothing. Damn it. But now we have two big guys. I was really hoping it would give us, like, another insane damage up. But I probably should have just um, done the sensible thing and sucked it up. Let's grab the black candle there as well. Brainworm. I think Brainworm's a bit better. Oh no, we can we can hold two! Hell yes! I think Brainworm with Polly is gonna be insane. Also, the damage now with Circular Protection is gonna be really good. We should be freezing stuff pretty instantly here. This is a lot of fun. I'm very much enjoying it. That guy almost pulled me straight onto the button there. That was a little rude. Slowed you, got you down, stuck on the creep. I, I cannot express how much more enjoyable greed is with these, this setup. This is so much more fun. Also, is my circle protection triggering, turning things into ice? I think it is. Hmm. Okay. Falgo is an interesting one because I don't really think we should fill all of our heart containers. Um. I think I'm just going to keep my money. Fill all my heart containers with rotten hearts. I feel like that's definitely a bad idea. Okay, this is interesting. This is something that shouldn't ever happen. I mean, he died pretty quick. I think the, uh, the sailor's hat kind of wrecked him there. Oh my gosh. Bra Honestly, Brainworm is insane with this. Brainworm is insane with this. Because it's like it passes through an enemy that's got low health and then just moves on to the next one. And it freezes them all on the way through. It's insane. We do have uh, one of these guys that is um, eternal. He is dead now. Got a devil deal again. Damocles. Lusty blood for each enemy killed in the room. Okay, I think we have to take that. And yeah, we'll pass on that. 
Just because that's going to make greed, the actual greed fight a lot easier. Judgment there and sewing machine. Eh, that's actually kind of decent to grab in case we get any familiars later down the line. I'm going to have to pause again. I've been talking with the developer of Repentance Plus about some unlocks. and I just want to try and figure something out. Let's keep it going. Un yeah, basically, I've just been speaking to the developer of... Um... Ooh, that's not fun. The developer of Repentance Plus about unlocking the Tainted Hearts. Uh, if the fireball is held, locus will continuously... Oh, that's insane. Um, yeah, I've been trying to sort of figure out what to... Um... What to do about unlocking the Tainted Hearts, because I just checked the wiki, and apparently the only way to unlock them is to... Uh, also, let's carry this for this uh, this area. Um, the only way to unlock them is to uh, unlock a Tainted Character, but we already have all the Tainted Characters unlocked. So quite literally, unfortunately, the Tainted Hearts cannot be unlocked legit. We have to use commands. Um, so I'm trying to figure out a way to get around it. Because if we use commands, it unlocks every single one of them at once. And I really don't want that. Because the Tainted Hearts are quite strong. I don't want to have them all unlocked in one fell swoop. Oh, that got, that was a reflective coin. I didn't realise that. Everything's just turning into ice. It's crazy. We got a key from somewhere here. Circle of protection, save me. Okay, the eternal enemies are coming in fast and loose right now. You got destroyed. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Three pins. That isn't so hard. I don't know what set you on fire. What the hell? What set you on fire? Oh, my, my jetpack. I was very confused for a moment there. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm, I'm very glad I took the counterfeit penny. Oh, my Lord. What the hell, Mr. Fred? <laughs> that was B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Okay, I don't want to lose my damage buff. Also, lots of frails. Set them all on fire. I think we managed to kill one. Oh my lord, this is insane. Holy shit. Mum's knife. I actually don't want mum's knife. I'll do a reroll and see if we get anything interesting. Nah. Nothing there I want to take. Right. Let's come through here. Pick this back up. Uh, plus two soul hearts. Losing a soul heart does damage. Eh, let's let's do a bit of a reroll here. We'll definitely just grab that. And then I think let's try and reroll something interesting. I think we want to try and get ourselves an interesting locust. Or we could just take Binky. I think we're just gonna take Binky. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that actually. Right. Let's get going. Let's move on down to Funky Town. Just because I'm paranoid about crashing at the minute, I'm going to quickly exit the run and continue to make sure it saves before we head down to the next floor. Because I'm really paranoid about crashing at the minute. Anyways, let's carry on forward. I, We don't have an amazing run for this guy. I think we have a pretty good run. We don't have an amazing run. Like, our damage is pretty awesome. But I still think there's a lot that could go wrong here. Also, this is my first time seeing this guy's health bar with the mod. That tells you just how long it's been. Okay, no. We are wrecking this guy. Absolutely. I did forget that we have the uh, the locusts going absolutely ham on this guy. If we just hold down the fire key, our locusts will just not stop. Yeah, we are destroying. Okay, maybe the mod did change the boss armor values. Because this guy's dying way quicker than normal. Ow. That was a good hit, sir. Either that or the locusts are just doing insane damage. Which is also a possibility. Need to grab all these coins before he changes over. Oh god, I walked right into that. That was stupid. 
Right, get all my flies on him. I think it's the locusts, you know. I think a big part of it is the locusts sticking to him are just doing insane damage. But this is a much more enjoyable fight, I'll tell you that. Maybe it's just because our damage is 30. I don't know. Wow, that was a that was a quick kill. I think the values have been tweaked. Either way, that should unlock us the red rune. There you go, baby. We unlocked it. Feeling very good. Very good indeed. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Definitely an interesting look into the renewed greedier mode. Please let me know if you want to see more. I'd be interested to see. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.